Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to come back for another tutorial. This one's going to be awesome. So today's video is going to be on this soft, glowy, um, and sparkly, I love sparkles, uh, makeup look for Valentine's Day or for every day, you know, if you just want to slay on a Wednesday, go for it. But I'm really excited about this look. I really loved how it turned out. I didn't have a plan going into today's video. I was like, we're just going to wing it. As always, you can follow me on Instagram. It is Haley Hope Makeup underscore. And also, you can follow me on Snapchat. It's Haley HH33. That information will be below, as always. Don't forget, if you don't mind, to subscribe to my page and hit the like button if you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope that you're able to recreate it easily. I really like it. I think it turned out awesome. But yeah, so let's jump on into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. See ya. All right, so let's get this party started. I have already um, washed my face and moisturized my skin. Skin, super important for foundation application. Now I'm going to prime my skin, so I'm going to be going in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Just rub that all over the skin. So I'm going to be actually using um, two different foundations today um, for a certain reason. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation in the shade 2.0, and I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in a 201 so this one has amazing coverage but it's mattifying and i have more dry skin so i don't like to have a mattifying look and then this one isn't full coverage um it has a nice coverage to it though it's just not full as, as i like um and then it is going to be a glowy foundation have more luminosity to it so i mix them together that gives me the perfect look for take like a pump of half of this and just a little pump of the pro glow and then I'm going to take it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to mix it all around together. I'm going to take what little bit I have on the back of my finger and just um, dab that onto my chin. Today I'm going to be using a brush. This is the Morphe uh, 439 brush. It's just a kabuki brush. I dip it in my hand. Apply it to one side of my cheek. Um, buff that in. Drag it down on my neck. I marked this before the Urban Decay Rep told me that the all-nighter foundation is meant to be dragged down so that's why I'm doing it. Okay so next we're going to go ahead and conceal. I'm going to be using the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just like I did in my last video. I love this stuff. It's the best concealer that you can buy personally I think right now. So as always we're just going to put this under the eyes. Um, I obviously am using a little bit of extra but that's okay. And then we're also going to put it on the chin on the cupid's bow, down the nose, and on the forehead. Alright, and now we're going to blend. So when you are blending out your concealer, you want to make sure that you are pressing it into the skin and that you're not dragging the product. With that, you run the risk of moving it. And you want to make sure that it's nice and blended and that it has a smooth finish. So just, again, make sure you're pressing that into the skin with your beauty blender. All right, and then to set my under eye, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color, no, yeah, the <laughs> RCMA No Color Powder, the original one. Um, so I'm just going to dip my beauty blender in to the powder and just get just a little bit. And then we're going to go in and start setting. I don't like to use too much. The less powder you can use in your under eye, the better. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set the rest of our face. Um, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Warm Rose. So I'm just going to be taking my Morphe E3 uh, brush, and I'm going to just dip it in and just start packing it on. All right, so before we finish the rest of our face, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and my eyes. This majority of this video is going to be focused on the eyes because it's going to be the Valentine's Day look. I haven't really practiced what I'm going to do, so we're just kind of winging it. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> Just bear with me. I have an idea in my mind. I have an idea of how I want it to turn out. So. Okay, for my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in taupe. This is like you're like really all up in my grill. And I'm just going to be taking this little like um, angled brush and this little spoolie thing. I got it at Sephora. Alright, so I'm just going to dip it into the dip brow. First, you want to brush your brows out. My brows are really bad. Please excuse them. I need to get them threaded. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're just going to start out by forming our shape of our brow. Kind of pulling out towards who we want the tail to be. And as you're going, make sure that you blend. 
So as you can see here, I am just moving my brush and hair like strokes. Just really quick, really short strokes to make it look more natural. Okay, so I'm going to take an, just an angled brush. And I'm going to take my concealer from earlier and we're going to use this to um, clean up the brow. So I'm going to put the concealer on my brush and I'm just going to start to kind of shape out my brow. Alright, so that's how you do your brow. I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we finished with the brows, we're going to go ahead and set them. I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to take this and just run it through. Alright, so for the eyes, we need to prime first. So I'm going to be taking the Stay Don't Stray Light and Medium um, in the shade Light and Medium from Benefit. Take this, I'm just going to do one stripe on each eye. I'm just going to take my finger, my ring finger, and uh, blend this in. I'm going to take my powder brush from earlier because you want to set it. I'm not really putting any additional, just using what's additional from earlier. And I'm just going to set. So today for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Palette. Too Faced released this originally just for, for a limited time. Um, but they've actually brought it back and I'm pretty sure it's permanent now. So I'm going to be using that to create a soft look today. Okay, so first I'm going to be going in with the shade uh, Nectar. I'm going to be putting this all in my crease. And I'm going to be using a Morphe 441, which is just like a big blending brush for that. And you just want to make sure you're going back and forth. Alright, so after that step, I'm going to take the color um, Georgia, and I'm going to put that in my crease as well. And I'm going to be using the same brush, the Morphe 441. Now I'm keeping this lower, I'm not taking this one as high. And I am bringing this down and kind of creating a V shape on my eye because even though this is going to be a soft look, I am going to have a little bit of a, of a wing to it because I don't, can't live life without a wing on my eye. Okay, so after we have done that step, we are going to just put a little bit of color on the lid before I finish off the crease. I'm going to take the peaches and cream shade in the palette, and I'm just going to place that all over the lid. I'm going to go back in with some of that Georgia color and just deepen out the crease. If you notice, I have to sometimes keep my eye open because my eyes are a little... I guess they would be called hooded. Um, I have a little bit of extra skin up here. I put it in my real crease, then you wouldn't be able to see the color. So sometimes I keep my eye open, that way I can see where I'm placing the product so I can create the crease that I want. And the last color I'm gonna add to my crease is going to be the color Puree. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a smaller blending brush. This is the Morphe E18. Just a little bit, just barely tapping it in, tapping off any excess. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. Now that I've placed the product on the corner, I'm going to take the same M441 brush from earlier and I'm going to blend it out. I didn't put any product on this brush just what was on it from earlier. And then just because I want to add a little bit of something extra to this look, I'm going to take one of the new Stila Metal Eyeshadows. It's this right here. And it's in the shade Ballet Baby. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this of the lid. It's a very light pink color just to add a little bit of shimmer, a little something extra to the look. I'm going to take the same flat brush I used earlier and just kind of blend this out a little bit. I love that. It looks so pretty. And I am just going to take a little bit more of that Georgia color again, and I'm just going to blend out a little bit so that we still have that defined um, crease. I'm actually going to go in with a second layer just to make it a little bit more pop. Okay, so this is what it should look like so far. Alright, so I figured if we're going to do glam and do glitter, then we might as well do it to the max. So I went ahead and added um, a wing and a, some false lashes to this look. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other eye. Ouch. 
Whoops. So for the wing, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. So you can see I'm going to draw a line up and flick it out. Then I'm going to connect that line down. Um, and then I'm just going to go and fill it in. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how to get a winged cat eye uh, liner, then just let me know in the comments below. That's a pretty frequently asked question, so I would love to do that for you guys if you would like. Because I'm going to do false lashes, I'm going to go ahead and put black in my waterline. I just find that they blend easier and they look more natural whenever the there's no like flesh color in your waterline. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's kind of gross looking, so if you have a queasy stomach, I would look away. So then we need to add mascara, and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's one of my favorites. We don't really need a thick layer of mascara because we're putting on the false lashes, but we just need to make our... My lashes are blonde, so I need to make them black so they blend in better with the lashes. Alright, so now it's time to add our lashes. So same thing as the liner, if you guys would like a tutorial on how to apply false lashes, then just let me know. Alright, so now that is done, we're just going to finish off the bottom lashes and then we will be good to finish the rest of our face. So even though we have our black top waterline, um, we still want this to be very bright, very girly and flirty. So I'm going to take for my bottom waterline, I'm going to take the Sephora Waterproof crayon so shade number three it's like this peachy kind of color and we're going to go in and we're going to put it on the bottom waterline all right so the first thing i'm going to do for my under eye is um, i'm going to take the shade candy peach out of the peach palette and i'm just going to put this on my under eye and I'm using a Morphe brush. It's from one of the first Morphe collections that I ever purchased. It doesn't have a name on it because it's from a collection. But it's just like a little flat brush like that. And I'm just putting this very close to my waterline. So then we just need to add some mascara to our bottom lash line. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Alright, so the eyes are finished and they should look like this. Alright, so now that we are done with the eyes, we just need to finish off the rest of our face. Right, so I'm going to just bronze up my cheeks and my skin real quick, and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. If you are interested in how to contour, highlight, how I do all that, um, I just posted a really detailed video of that. I'll link it in the um, box below. So then I'm going to go in and contour with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. How awkward does my hand look? And I'm going to be using the Morphe 523. So with this bronzer, just run it back and forth until it's fully blended. Like I said, I do have a video on this and I talk a lot more about it in detail. But just make sure you're blending out your bronzer. Alright, we're just going to clean up that contour real quick. I forgot to mention this, but this is the RCMA No Color Powder that I was using earlier for my under eye. All right, just brush that away. All right, so now for blush, I'm going to be taking this new, um, whoa, maybe not. I'm going to be taking the new NARS Narcissus palette, Narcissus, Narcissus palette, I think, which is going to be this right here, and I'm going to be taking these two shades right here. Because again, we want this to be light and flirty and pretty, so um, that's what I'm just going to use. It's like a light kind of peach color, and then the baby pink. And again, I'm taking this on a Morphe E4 brush. Alright, so once again, it is time for my favorite part, woo which is highlighting. So I'm going to be using this Anast Anastasia Beverly Hills um, the Gleam Glow Kit. This one's really beautiful for people with um, fair skin. I love Anastasia's highlighters. They're so pretty. And I'm going to be taking these uh, bottom two shades right here, which is Crushed Pearl and Starburst. Because I have that light pink look on the lid, um, I'm going to translate that into my cheekbones a little bit. So I'm just kind of mixing them, going back and forth. 
Then, just to add a little more of that pink kind of shimmer, I'm going to be using um, Laura Geller, um, the Charming Pink, which is this little pretty color right here. Love that. Same brush. Oh, by the way, this is a Morphe 310. more glow to the cheekbones, the more glow the better. I'm going to put a little bit of this above my brows. And then for the star of the show, I'm going to be going in again with the Morphe 35E palette and I'm going to be using these two, this bright white shade and this little pinky color really just to pop that cheek. And I'm just putting this on the tops of my cheekbones. And this is the Morphe 501 brush. This is more of a packing highlight brush. So whereas the other one was more sheen, this is really going to pack on that color. I'm also going to take this same white color once again, and I'm going to put it on the inner corner of my eyes just to complete the eye look and the uh, brow bone. Alright, so the last thing we need to do is put some lips on. And in true Valentine's Day fashion, we are going to go in with a bold red lip. I don't know why I put my hands up like that, like I'm Donald Trump or something. So I thought that a this uh, Kat Von D color would be perfect. It's a little mini one, and that's so cute. It's in the shade Outlaw. It's part of her Everlasting um, Liquid Lips. These things are awesome. They're like bulletproof. They, they're not coming off. Like they're not going anywhere once you put these suckers on. All right, so first I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to use the NYX uh, Lip Liner in their shade Hot Red. I do this obviously to kind of see where I want my outline of my lips to go. I don't really overdraw my lips too much. Sometimes, you know, shit happens and it gets overdrawn. But, but I mostly outline um, my lips so that my um, liquid lip doesn't bleed. So, all right. So now we're gonna take the Kat Von D shade and we're gonna start filling in our lips. Alright, so now just to make that highlight pop, we are going to just take a little bit of Max Fix Plus and we're just going to spray it on the like kind of cheekbone area. And then, of course, we just need to set our entire face and we are going to be using the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you like it. I hope that it was easy to follow along. But yeah, so this is your, your soft, glam Valentine's Day look. I hope you guys have fun, whether you're going on a date, whether you're going to be celebrating Valentine's Day like I will with my girlfriends. Again, if you have any questions, comments, if you want to know anything about this look, anything I might have forgot to say, please let me know. As always, all of the products that I use will be in the comment box below. Alright guys, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at and I will see you next time. Bye!